If we are to avoid total climate catastrophe, we're going to need zero emissions automobiles like the Venturi Electric. It's a true ecomobile, completely free of harmful byproducts, but it has its limitations, for example, a range of only 50 kilometers. But it's cars like this that we badly need. Climate change is becoming increasingly acute, and one culprit is our growing consumption of energy, and the most heinous villain of the piece, carbon dioxide. In Europe, road traffic accounts for about 20% of CO2 emissions. As a first step, the politicians want to see new car models producing less than 120 grams per kilometer by 2012. The industry must confront this issue and not avoid it. They must face up to the challenge. In the final analysis, it is only by being flexible and responsive that car industry jobs will be preserved, not by holding fast to outdated concepts. German Chancellor Angela Merkel and French President Nicolas Sarkozy, however, set the barrier lower, with an extension of the compliance period which the automobile industry understandably welcomes. Now they have three more years to reach the goal. We know that we as politicians must establish the framework. For this reason, the subject of taxation is one we discuss in depth. We do not believe that we can increase the burden on owners of older vehicles. This limits our options with regard to dealing favorably with newer cars. But nevertheless, taxation will in future reflect the two key elements, CO2 levels and fuel consumption. Not a view which pleases everybody. The environmentalists are strictly against the compromise proposal. The automobile industry sees its standpoint confirmed. The government has given us planning security, at least for a certain period. In Germany, this means security for our product development. We are now put in a position where it will be possible to achieve the targets set. But the compromise has not been finally approved. The EU Commission has the last word. But the model range policies of the car makers will certainly be amended for another reason. The galloping price of petrol at the pump, the era of thirsty gas guzzlers, seems to be over. Of course, we have to rethink our model ranges. And when we see what's happened in America, where there's a trend away from vehicles with high fuel consumption to smaller cars with less, then it's a trend which will also reach Europe. Another trend, more and more car builders are adding to their range models with alternative energy systems. Could this be the future? A hydrogen-powered automobile, silent and producing no harmful emissions whatsoever? Our Mother Earth would breathe much easier.